To solve the quadratic like this, using completing the square, there is a special technique that I like to use. The first thing that I always like to do is go ahead and get my constant over to the other side. Therefore, I can just focus in on creating the perfect square trinomial on one side of the equation. Okay, now there is a couple different techniques. I do also work on factoring out terms, but that I typically like to focus on that when I'm graphing a quadratic using completing the square. The main important thing you need to recognize, when you need to complete the square, we don't like the three. We don't like coefficients, and we cannot complete the square when we have a coefficient. So there's two ways to get rid of it. One way is to divide out that by every single term, which is the way that we're gonna use, and the other way is to go ahead and factor out the three, which I like to use when we are graphing a quadratic by completing the square. But for this video, let's go ahead and see what is gonna happen when I divide everything by a three. And unfortunately, we just created some fractions. And if you're like most of my students, that probably is getting a little bit uncomfortable because you're like, I don't wanna do problems with fractions. I don't like fractions. Fractions make me uncomfortable. But it's okay because you know what? I'm doing the problem. You can just sit back and enjoy and I will work through how to do this step by step. But we don't like fractions. Fractions make everything more difficult. Remember, the whole idea of completing the square and getting that eight to the other side is because we need to create a perfect square trinomial of m squared plus eight thirds m. Yeah, we need to create a perfect square trinomial out of that. So what we need to do is we need to find a value c that is going to create that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the value c here just so we can visualize it. And remember, whatever you do to the left-hand side, you also have to make sure you do to the right-hand side. So that is our value C. C is very, very important. C is gonna be the value that is going to create a perfect square trinomial. Now again, why do we want to create a perfect square trinomial? Because perfect square trinomials can be factored down to binomial squared. That is gonna allow us to use our inverse operations. That's how we can avoid using factoring to solve this. So we're using the process of completing the square. We're gonna create a perfect square trinomial. So what is the value C? C, or how do we find the value C? That's gonna be b divided by two squared. Remember, b is just going to be the coefficient of your linear term. Now, here, here's the important thing. We have 8 thirds as our b. That means 8 thirds is gonna be divided by two and then square it. And if you're like me, or if you're like a lot of my students, this is where students make the mistakes. So rather than kind of breezing over this and you know talking really fast and just giving the answer, I'm gonna go through this step by step because I don't want you to make a mistake like I would if I was teaching or sometimes when I was a student and I was taking a test, I just try to do things as quickly as I could. So let's break this down. I have an 8 thirds divided by two, quantity squared. Now, if I wanna simplify this, typically what I always like to do is think about my divisor and put it as a two over one. Therefore, I can get rid of this two by multiplying by the reciprocal on the top and on the bottom. Now, you could multiply straight across, but also I want you to recognize two divides into eight. So I can simplify that to a four. So technically, we can rewrite this as a four thirds squared. That's gonna be the most simplified fraction. Remember when you were first learning about fractions, your teachers you know, were always like, simplify, simplify, simplify. Maybe you get like points off because you didn't simplify it. And you're like, wow, I got the right answer, but it's not simplified, which is a different argument for a different day. But I think it's really, really important. I first did this problem and I, when I didn't look for the simplified process and I got the same answer, but it was a lot more difficult because I was working with bigger, bigger numbers. Simplifying is so important because it just makes, if you're able to simplify it, it makes your life and the math that you're doing a lot easier than if you didn't simplify. So I have a four thirds squared. Remember that's just four thirds times four thirds. So that's going to give me a 16 over a nine. Okay, that is my C, right? Remember ladies and gentlemen, that is the C. So now what we can do is I can replace my C over here with a 16 over a nine. All right, so now that I've created the 16 over nine, I need to factor this down. One of the things that I want you to understand is rather than trying to factor this, like what two numbers multiply to give you 16 over nine, the add to give you an eight thirds, nobody's thinking of that. Here's a little special technique you guys can use. X plus or minus a b divided by two quantity squared is always gonna be your binomial squared from a perfect square trinomial. I did plus or minus because if your middle term is positive, your binomial is gonna be positive. If your middle term was negative, your binomial will be negative. So what was my b divided by two? That was four thirds. So therefore I can rewrite this as a m plus, because it's middle term is positive, four thirds quantity squared. And then over here, you can see that I don't have equivalent fractions, so I can't add them. However, I can simply just multiply by two over two, and that's gonna give me a, no, not a two over two, what am I doing? A three over a three, 
right? So now there, therefore that's gonna be a nine, that's gonna give me a 24. So 24 plus 16, let's see, that's going to give me a 30, that's going to give me a 40, right? Yes, so that's gonna equal a 40 over a nine. So now all I simply need to do, and again, the purpose and the point of doing this is now I only have one term. So, and you can see I have these operations. I have it squared and then I'm adding a four thirds. So to solve for this, all I simply need to do now is take the square root of both sides. That is now gonna leave me with m plus a four thirds is equal to, let's go ahead and simplify the square root of 40. That can be broken down into a four times 10, which is equal to a two square root of 10. And then the square root of nine, I can leave that as a three. So therefore a two square root of 10 divided by three. And don't forget that's a plus or minus. And then I just need to subtract a four thirds. So I can write my answer nice and neat to look like this.